Yo, what's going on guys? R.I. Pierre here using that max power return on YouTube and today we, oh well, I am proud to announce the return of Theme Team Thursdays after a three month hiatus. Uh, it was a pretty fun series for me to do and I really think that uh, it would be interesting to say the least for me to bring it back. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. There was a team left on my uh, the last video I did of this, which was about two and a half or three months ago. So that's the team we're going to be using. It was UU Rain, I believe, last time. So as usual, we will go ahead and go to the, ran the random list generator to see what the next week's tier will be, tier and um, and type of team. So yeah. <laughs> So uh, don't forget to leave a like for the return of uh, Theme Team Thursdays. Your support is greatly appreciated. So we're going to go ahead and go to the list generator in just a second. All right, and here we are. So uh, the additions to the to the uh, generator I have are Anything Goes, because that's a, that uh, from the last time I did this, this is a new tier, and F You, because this month, uh, <laughs> this month uh, F You, is a tier it's the tier below PU so that's interesting too so I decided to add that to the list anything goes if, if anything goes is drawn then just create it just create an awesome team I guess like it can be broken as hell like you can use multiple mons I think you can use different moves and stuff like that too unless that's just hacks mods but I, I don't really know I don't know anything about the anything goes tier <laughs> so without further ado let's randomize the first list and yeah, I'll pause until it comes back because my browser's running slow. Alright, and this week's tier is RU. So, there's that. <laughs> so I'm going to go back and make the list for the type of team, and we'll be back. Alright, and these are the team types. Hyper Offense, Balance, Stall, Volt, Turn, Rain, Sun, Hail, Sand, and Fun. Fun is just basically creative. It's like anything goes, except you have to go with the, um, the restrictions of the tier. I don't expect to win many when Fun is drawn, so... Just do your best making a team if that's what's pulled up. So go go ahead and randomize this, and hopefully it doesn't take three years again. And it's taking three years again, so I'll be back. Okay, never mind. Hyper offense, yes, thank you, thank you so much. All right, so this week's tier, it'll probably be on the screen somewhere. It'll say, "Are you fun?" Oh, well, are you hyper offense? Excuse me. So uh, let me write this down somewhere, and then we'll get back to showdown, and we'll start doing stuff. I'll explain the team. Uh, give credit to the Mudkip Nation, who is the person who created the team, and we'll go from there. So I'll be back. All right, so this is the team that he came up with. This is gonna make you cry, the Celebi, with Dan Brock, Natural Cure, Rest, Rain Dance, Giga Drain, and Heal Bell. Interesting set. I've really never come across it, but uh, interesting choice for a Rain Setter. I've really never seen Celebi as a Rain Setter, but hey, you know, it's pretty interesting. Mystery, obviously, Kingdra, <laughs> with Life Orb, Swiss Slim, uh, purple's my favorite color, so you're purple, sir. Ma'am. No, sir, yes. No, ma'am. Queendra. Mystery was a woman. Alright, so Hydro Pump, Dragon Pulse, Ice Beam, and Signal be interesting set. Uh, <laughs> Mufasa the Raikou with Leftovers, uh, Pressure, of course, Thunder, Combine, Substitute, and Extra Sensory. Darts the Toxicroak with Life Orb, Dry Skin. Sucker Punch, Drain Punch, Bulk Up, and Poison Jab. Interesting. There's a lot of interesting sets here. Okay, Standard Fortress. <laughs> and uh, Life Orb, Moxie Boost, Haunch Crow. Now, very interesting sets. I've, I've gotten teams from him before that were... Uh, well, I, I guess I would use interesting in a different way, but... Uh, <laughs> let's not dwell on that. So we're going to go ahead and... Um, we're going to go ahead and get the first battle then, I guess. It'll be the first new battle on this account as well because uh, the reset with the servers when they were hacked and things like that. So, so we're up against Nidek. Okay. Well then, uh, I guess he meant. I, I don't know. I I, I don't know. I, I just I just don't know. Alrighty then. <laughs> okay, I guess uh, he selected the wrong thing. Uh, so we have Seabook, who has Fortress, Alkazam, Mega Sharpedo. Uh, he's running Sticky Web Offense, so he doesn't really, he won't really need to. Uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say anymore. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and lead off with Celebi, as a uh, Rain Dance will sort of negate the uh, Sticky Web, as far as Mystery goes. Anyway, uh, Mystery is gonna be very important. I don't know. I think I should, I think it should have been Draco on this, but hey. Hmm. So I could actually leave with Mystery, considering he's probably going to leave with his Fortress, as he does. 
Ah, sorry about that. So we can go ahead and rain dance up. And then switch out into my Kingdra. Actually, I could also go into my Raikou here and get a substitute off if he decides to start going start setting up spikes. So that's what I'll do. As he starts setting up toxic spikes, not even bad. Alright, so what I'm gonna do here is go ahead and go for a substitute, calm mind, and then start firing off thunders. Cool. It's actually working pretty well already. And this is timid, so that's pretty good for me as well. Uh, Gyro Ball won't be able to take out my sub either, so that's actually very good for me. So please, set up another layer of spikes. I, 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 love, I would love to see you do that. Alright, now that I have three turns of rain left, I'm going to go ahead and start firing off thunders and whatnot. This is life orb. Oh wait, leftovers. Okay, never mind. I'm good. <laughs> I was scared. I thought it was life orb. It's crucial that the sub stays up at least for a little bit longer. Oh my gosh, you're not even sturdy. Hello? Hello? Oh my gosh. That's what I get for <laughs> using a new account. Well, it is technically new now. It wasn't before. But yeah, so I just took down that fortress, and there really is nothing to stop the onslaught that is Raikou. As Galvantula does not outspeed, Milodic does not outspeed. The only things that outspeed are Alakazam and Sharpedo, and really, I don't know. I'm using Balloon Galvantula, so I'm just going to take it out with an extra sensory. Or at least I should. I'm not sure. I'm at plus two, so... And Raikou's no pushover, so, uh... I don't know. Wow. That is some special defense right there. As he goes for a thunder of his own, I don't know why. There really was no point to him doing that. But I guess it wouldn't hurt to get him with the calm mind up. Since he's not sticky web. Or even if he is sticky web, all he's gonna do is get webs at the bottom of my feet, and there really is nothing for me to do. So Raikou does come through and sweep. For the most part, anyway. Damn. This man is having some troubles, huh? Alright, so we go for another extra sensory, take out this Galvantula. I swear, if it comes down to thunder missing, I'm going to be highly upset. But I am behind a sub, so I really don't care about Sharpedo for at least a turn, so... That's fine. It's fine for now, anyway. And Thunder Oko's everything else. <laughs> it's interesting, it's interesting. I hope I don't miss the Thunder. But, uh, I really need to get some calm minds up if I was going to be able to do anything. With my special defense, I should be okay. In fact, I might actually be able to set up another substitute on this Alakazam sometime down the road since I'm at plus three. As he goes for the Psychic and, ah, wide left. Wide left. Alright, let's go ahead and substitute again. Uh, Alakazam is faster than me, so, or at least it should be. <laughs> anyway, I'm not sure if it is, but it should be. Wow, I did 16%. Aw, oh, my special defense fell. Aw. 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 Alright, uh, should I go for another combine? Just to get back up? I don't know, cause, uh... Hmm. Yeah, that would be a bit, that'd be the better option for me at this point. If, cause he, he can't switch into anything safely. Uh, this could be Sash Alakazam, or Magic Guard plus Life Orb. Uh, considering the team... Wow. Okay, I still took that like a boss. <laughs> Alright, so what I'm gonna do here is actually go for a substitute. As, uh... This way, I'm behind one, in case he knocks it out with, uh, Psychic. This turn. Or if, and if he switches out, I'm actually in a decent position anyway, because Thunder will Oko everything else. Hopefully I don't miss though, but I do still have five other Mons, so I'm really in a very good position at this point. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I really- oh my god. Oh my god, why? 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 Why, Charlie? Oh my gosh. Why, see, look. Why you do this, man? <laughs> I really just had to like I, I just I can't I really can't right now that was good lord <laughs> I, I'm just holding my head right now this is this is this is something this really is something okay 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 let me collect my mind again pick it up off the ground and yeah we're gonna oko everything else with thunder hopefully we don't miss anything else but uh, that'll be fine as he does forfeit because he knows the end is inevitable. <laughs> that was fantastic. That that was absolutely fantastic. That knockoff was beautiful. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna pause until we get another battle. So I'll be back in just a few. 
and we are back against Kimo Sunus, who's using the uh, Agron Forge's core. That's gonna be highly annoying, but uh, let's let's get it. Let's get it, I guess. It's gonna be annoying trying to play around his uh, hip Howdown for a little while there. So what I could actually do is leave it Kingdra, because I will I can pre I can threaten out pretty much everything else. So what I that's what I'm actually gonna do. Besides his uh, Vaporeon, so if he leads with Arcanine while I'm leading with Kingdra, he's probably gonna switch out to Vaporeon, which allows me to make a switch into my Raikou, and then I can go ahead and set up a substitute there and uh, start firing away, either start calm winding up or start firing away with um, Thunder. So either way, I'm in a decent position, I guess. So there's Kingdra, as he does lead off with his Arcanine, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull that. Uh, I could pull that switch actually. I should, I really should, but actually what I could do is stay in here with and go for the Hydro Pump and go into Dart the uh, Toxic Rogue, as I really won't, I really don't have anything to worry about. He could also counter predict that and stay in with his Arcanine and go for um, Flare Blitz on Haraiku, but I'm the one lagging here. I've already chosen Hydro Pump and he's still just chilling there, like why? Alright, so, <laughs> Mystery is not really... This is not functioning properly, as I'm lagging quite a bit, quite a bit, quite a bit, quite a bit. He turned the he turned the timer on. Aha! That's why that's why I didn't um. What you call it? Forget it, forget it. I was thinking about something completely different just now, although I did think that a wild charge was going to come, uh. But I was expect I was actually expecting him to flare blitz. Expecting me to go into my Raikou, expecting him to go for a while. Forget it. It's 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 it's, it's a lot. It's a lot of stuff. <laughs> it's a lot to think about, man. So I would assume he would go into his Vaporeon here, as uh, there really is nothing Kingdra can do to it. Yeah, I don't have Draco. I only have Dragon Pulse, so he could basically just get a wish back off on it. But he obviously, I don't think he expected me to switch per se. But yeah. All right, let's see how much a life orb ice beam will. Oh wow, a signal beam! I forgot about that. All right, let's see how much this does. Actually, uh, I don't think it will KO if it's the specially defensive set. If it is physically defensive, I probably will because it's four times plus life orb um, from 317 special attack. I mean, that's that's decent, I guess. But um, I just want to see what happens here with this. I do not need my mystery to win the battle. It will help me. It would help me a bit against the Powdon, but I do have other mods I can take care of it. And I'm lagging. Why the hell? I chose Signal Beam like five minutes ago. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. All right. So he goes for Dazzling Gleam. Well then, and he's Life Orb. Is everything on your team Life Orb, man? Like damn. Damn, son. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, I think I'll actually rain it. No, I can't. Not safely, anyway. Uh, he has nothing to get rocks off. Rocks off. So what I'm gonna do here is actually go into my stealth. Wow, I said stealth rock. Nah, same here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go into my fortress and get stealth rocks up, as there is nothing on his feet. On his wow, it's nothing on his field. Nothing on his team that can get them off the field. And this is an offensive Celebi, so he doesn't have Stealth Rock on it as well. Probably has it on his, uh, I would assume they're on his Hippowdon, or, I don't know, he's got a Mega Aggron as well. Everything on his team is grounded though, so getting Stealth Rock and three layers of spikes is actually going to be very imperative for me to um, apply a little bit more pressure to his team. So, that's actually very good for me. Celebi flies, still going to be taking that spikes damage though. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and get my uh, Stealth Rock up first. As he goes for Earth Power, oh my goodness. That did a lot of damage. Uh, Dazzling Gleam will KO Haunch Pro at this point, considering uh, Earth Power did that much to um, Fortress, not even super effectively. Uh, but I do get my, I'm gonna get Spikes up. Hopefully he doesn't crit me with the Earth Power, and hopefully that was max damage. <laughs> Cause if, that was min if this ends up being a min-max situation, I would be highly upset. But yeah, w one layer of Spikes is, is plenty actually. As he goes into his Zipowdon. Interesting. I don't understand why. Unless he has war at least he's trying to whirlwind me out into something. But um I could actually go into Celebi and get my rain dance up rather safely and then go into Raikou sub combine and all that good stuff. 
I don't know. We'll see when we get there. Let me set up another layer of spikes. Uh, I don't think Hippodon can't get things off the field. At least not in my. Uh, at least uh, I don't think so. <laughs> he might actually be going for stealth rocks of his own, which would force me to rapid spin them away, and he might actually be trying to get himself a free turn to do something. But I don't know. I don't know yet. As he does go for the stealth rock, uh, Fortress is still here, so. I'm gonna go for one more layer of spikes. There's nothing on his team that can KO me in one hit. Uh, his Hippodon will two hit me at best with max, with max physical defense and max HP. Investment from 67. So I should actually be in a pretty, okay, he left. Uh, okay, I'll pause until he comes back or a move, or um, another move happens. Okay, Earthquake happened. So I go for the third layer of spikes and now it shows that he left. All right, I'll be back if he comes back then the battle will continue. If not, then we'll be back with the third and final battle of this session. And he's back, so I didn't even need to pause. Cool, 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 cool. Both our computers are being stupid right now though, so let's stop timer. He disconnected again. All right, I'm gonna stop the timer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him some time since it seems like his computer is the one that's giving him some trouble here. So I'll pause until either he comes back or I just get tired of it, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and yeah, I just realized I'm gonna go over for rapid spin here, and I'll switch into Celebi and go for a okay. Pausing, pausing. <laughs> All right, so my mouse would not respond when I would click stop timer with uh for the last battle. So unfortunately, he did lose to, due to inactivity. He was trying to reconnect and connect all, all that good stuff. But yeah, that's unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. I hate winning like that. So. We're going to go ahead and get into this battle whenever the Pokemon start to appear, <laughs> which means that I am lagging really badly. Uh, so we're against Shima HC. Your opponent has disconnect. Okay, never mind. Okay, okay, okay. So he has a fortress of its own. Whimsicott is going to be a little bit of an issue. Uh, Noivern. Hmm. What do I have for Noivern? That's a problem. Um, Raikou, I guess, is the only thing I could take it. I could get a Calm Mind or two up. Uh, what I'm going to do here, actually, is going to lead with my Celebi. Ooh, that's a problem. He's Mega Swampert. I would only be helping him in the rain. It's like an anti-rain team. Holy crap! All right, so I'm gonna lead off with my um, with my mystery again. Uh, just see what happens. He could lead with Wyvern. Last well, Wyvern. He could lead with Noivern. Uh, but I really don't think that would be the best option for him. If it is a Life Orb Noivern, he would switch up to Flamethrower. If I go into Fortress, there really is. Well, uh, Life Orb Noivern is very versatile, so I have to be careful of that. And yeah, it's not weak either, which is problematic. <laughs> so he does leave with his Winslet Interesting. So I'm going to assume a um, what you call it? Winslet and Taunt. I need to make sure. I haven't used Winslet in like a good seven months or so. Let me say Cot, comma Taunt. And of course, it's lagging there too. So it's gonna take me like three years to actually make. It okay, yes, he can learn Taunt. So, damn, I'm in trouble. What I'm actually going to do here is go into my fortress. Because uh, even if he does uh, taunt me there, I'm just going to go straight for a gyro ball. And if he does decide to go into um, his Arcanine there, I can just switch back out into my um, Kingdra. As he can't KO me with uh, Wild Charge or... Because Life or Wild Charge doesn't K is a 3-hit KO on Kingdra. And really, I wouldn't be in a terrible position, to be honest. So yeah, I'm going to go right into my fortress, and I'm lagging bad, so I'm going to pause until I come back to life, I guess. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so I go into my fortress here. Uh, you might just go for the substitute, so honestly, I really, I, I wouldn't care too bad. So I'm going for my stealth rock here. Um, let's see. I don't have any infiltrator mods, which sucks. Uh, he's got Prankster Whimsicott with the Leech Seed, so even if it was like, <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea what I'm trying to say right now, but uh... I, there really is nothing he could do to my fortress unless he carries Hurricane, uh, and Hurricane won't be doing too much considering it's coming from a Whimsicott, which isn't terribly strong. I mean, Hurricane itself is going to hurt a little bit, but it's not Stab and it's not terribly strong either. And it's really, really annoying that I can't make a move right now. So I will continue pausing until I actually do them because it's taking quite a bit of time out of... It's basically me talking to you, it's not even like anything's happening, so I'll be back then. As he does go for the substitute, so that's annoying. I uh, probably can go for protect here. 
Uh, what I could actually do is go for a layer of spikes and then go for my gyro ball, which would actually be more uh, favorable. In my, or at least, yeah, to my situation, it would be more favorable. Um, hmm. Yeah, this thing walls my team because of um, freaking this the troll set, and I did not deal with it properly. I should have gone straight for the gyro ball. Oh well. Oh well. Yeah, there really is no point. <laughs> let's go. Let's go set up a layer of spikes and see what happens. So I'm gonna continue pausing because both of us are lagging pretty damn badly. As he goes for the encore, it makes me use Stealth Rock again. Oh my gosh, it's fantastic. Yeah, I lose. I lose. The game's already over. All right, I'm gonna go into Celebi here because there is nothing he. Oh wait, wow, duh gone to Celebi in the first place because he can't seed me and then I guess I'll just giga drain it until it's um whatchamacallit until the sub goes away and then we'll see what happens from there but I do have rocks up which is actually very it's detrimental that I get that up and yeah we're gonna keep pausing because I keep lagging I have 40 seconds left and it it just I make the decision pretty much instantly this is what I hate shit I don't like anyway <laughs> I'm gonna pause until something happens. All right, I'm saved. I had 10 seconds left, but now it's him who's lagging. He has 20 seconds left. So we'll see if uh, Battle of the Bad Internet, see who wins. <laughs> and he lo- oh my gosh, are you kidding me? All right, we're done, we're done. I'm sorry, I'm cutting it there. That was a less than successful live session, but it's, it's, it's a start for the return. <laughs> so I do hope you guys enjoyed the many, many, Many woes that occurred during this uh, during this little session here, the return of Theme Team Thursdays. I hope you guys are excited for that. Hit that like button for that if you are, if you are hyped for that, or if you're enjoying or every or almost anything like that. But yeah, I hope you guys. Oh wait, never mind. What the hell? Oh, I guess I just have to change. I just have to choose a move, I guess. Because it said he lost due to inactivity. You, you won't be able to see it, but in the chat it says he lost due to inactivity. Okay, there we go. Alright, so I do hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to smash that like button. Uh, show me still some support for the series. And don't forget to send in some teams. Remember, next, use, next, next year, next week's tier is RU and um, Hyper Offense. So I want the teams... Uh, if you can send it to me by Tuesday, I'll leave my email in the description if you want to send it by email. Or you can leave a comment underneath this video with the team in a paste bin. That would be uh, quite nice. Or you could uh, message me on Pokemon Showdown. I'm usually on three different alts, either Sky God Slayer, um, R.I.P. Air, or Exceed Froche. So if you want to contact me there, uh, make sure... Go to the studio and see if either of the, any of those accounts are on, and yeah, or exceed AF Carla. So yeah, do that. Anyways, I will catch you guys later. Until you meet again, alright, peace out, and bye. Hype!